Nature is who we are. It's easy to know it too. Go to the water, go to the trees, go to the plains. Whoever you are, wherever you are, it's there. You hear it, you see it, you feel it. The snow, the rain, the sun, the wind, you sense it, and it knows you too. But nature is vulnerable. It opens her arms to you and to me, and it is us who can embrace her, or choose to suffocate her with our fuels and heat and danger. We can't forget that we are animals too, mighty animals rotating through space on an earth that we have the power to abuse, or the power to save. Because of our actions, the beauty of this planet will not last forever. So, the principal causes of global warming are primarily the release of greenhouse gases, Zoe. <laughs> And uh, we release these greenhouse gases, which include uh, any number of gases, but the number one is CO2. And that's uh, primarily from the burning of fossil fuels. So with all of our sort of running around in our cars all the time, um, and even just sort of uh, power stations and such cranking out the CO2. And then when you add that to the fact that we're doing a whole lot of deforestation, which is a sink that normally takes in all that CO2, we're just exacerbating the problem. So we have all the CO2 gas, and that's ultimately what's going to create the greenhouse effect. Deforestation, the emission of toxic chemicals by factories and cars, and other anthropogenic factors are slowly causing the Earth to heat up, a phenomenon that affects both humans and animals. One of the most widely studied causes of global warming is called the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is caused by greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and CFCs that absorb and reflect the sun's radiation. This phenomenon, when caused by natural greenhouse gases like water vapor, is beneficial to life on Earth because it keeps the planet at a livable temperature. However, the level of unnatural chemicals in the atmosphere has caused the Earth to become too warm in recent decades. The global temperature has increased by 1.4 degrees over the last century, and 75% of that increase occurred during the last 30 years. So, how does global warming work? Here's the Earth, the Sun, and the Earth's atmosphere. Radiation from the sun reaches Earth and passes through the atmosphere. Some of that heat is absorbed by the Earth's surface, and some of it is reflected back into space. But, some of the sun's radiation is absorbed by the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and is reflected back towards Earth as heat, warming the planet. This can have disastrous impacts on both humans and wildlife. So, how does global warming affect you? Humans. Or on animals, but... Uh, but in general, and so we want to be very human-centric here. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, well, the, when you have global climate change, so it's not just warming because there are going to be some places that actually cool down, but what that does is it shifts agricultural zones, and so places that used to be sort of the bread baskets in the world may no longer be the bread baskets. Now, it's not going to take two years for that to happen. It'll shift over decades, but it certainly is going to happen. Um, you have also the sea level rise because the polar ice caps are going to begin to melt. And that's going to have a huge impact when we think about where most people live in this world. It's right along coastlines. And now you're going to have some major flooding that is associated with that. And those places that people used to live in, won't, they won't have a place to live anymore. Um, and then you talk about sort of the, the shift in the whole climate. You're going to have incredible disruptions in terms of just weather events. And we've already started to see that. We're seeing some crazy, you know, class six hurricanes out there that have not happened in 200 years. And... Um, lots more tornadoes, at least it seems like we've had a lot more tornado events. Um, uh, so there's been a lot of things that are out there that are going to be very disruptive and ultimately it, that hammers the economy, the world economy, as a result of those, those shifts. And when you hit people in their pocketbooks, that's when they're, start gonna, they're gonna start to have an impact. So let's look at our future. Every day, CO2 emissions are increasing. At the rate at which these emissions are increasing, climate change is inevitable for future generations. But this generation has the power to do something. Every individual on this planet Earth can change an aspect of their lifestyle to help rid the world of global warming. With each individual action, we can build communities committed to the betterment of this Earth, societies and nations working in tandem to make a greener, healthier, and happier Earth with less CO2. Uh, 
I think the sort of it's the little steps. So um, carpooling for the day students getting into here, encouraging faculty members to walk to and from classes and from their homes instead of taking their cars, um, being aware of resource consumption because anything you buy is going to have CO2 attached to it because there are fossil fuels used to either transport that good or to make that good in the first place. So not be such conspicuous consumers about things. Um, the whole sort of sustainability effort that, that we're doing these days is wonderful because you're reusing materials or recycling materials. And again, that's going to ultimately cut down on the amount of resources that have to get created and used in the process of, of making those goods. So less CO2 is going to be released into the air. So it's just, there are simple practices. We don't have to change our lives tremendously, but little things add up and can have a huge impact. Lovely. Turn off your lights, unplug your charges, take short showers, ride a bike, use public transportation, carpool, walk, make better food choices. The consumer controls the market. Today, manufactured goods have a major carbon footprint. Reduce that carbon footprint by making, taking matters into your hands. Recycle, buy local, and alter your eating habits. Together, we can conquer global warming. Together, we can secure a greener world for future generations. Together, we can win. Don't move, let's shake, shake. Shake the hands. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo! Looking good. Looking good. Looking nice. Nice. You keep walking. You just keep walking. Keep going. Keep going. Just keep on walking. Just, this is perfect. <laughs> Looking beautiful, guys. <laughs> that was excellent. Okay. Throw. <laughs> One, two, three, drop. Yeah, yeah, just, okay. just drop. Alright, got that. Yeah. Oh, just right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what can you tell us about this lovely garden? You experts, look at you digging in the earth. Oh, love the earth. Lo I'm not magnificent.